I chose to be a writer because a writer can influence time without causing personal physical effect. Yet, in this age of constant intellectual explorative advancements, I realized if I choose elements to write about that have yet to be fully explored and study them long enough, I can filter through all the rhetorical and combine each unique element to determine, to determine a finite determination. I've done this with combining concepts of time, life, death, and life after death specifically in the hopes to at least theoretically prove life after death. This I have done utilizing concepts of infinite timelines of a multiverse and combining them with future potential time travel technologies. If future time travel technologies were to surface, specifically allowing the capability to travel safely back and forth through time, our capacity of physical potential can in fact be creating technologies that influence a version of time from the beginning of time. In fact, we could in such a future with such infinite potential create at the beginning of time a literal cosmic machine and with time travel we could study our past to the point that we know all the elements to a quantum level of the past that led to our, our present. And in doing this, utilizing a machine of literal cosmic proportions could potentially create, the, create with the elements of time travel infinite versions of time with infinite limitless outcomes. With such potential, we could even unlock a way to utilize each individual of any living species, full collected subconscious throughout their lives, utilizing their belief systems to convert them at the end of their mortal existence to the immortal life their belief system is based on. In fact, perhaps time is and has always been so relative to the point that we, in fact, have always had a connection to such a future. So much so that culture and religion itself has been a way of perfecting such a connection. For example, Greek gods could, would be a connection to future beings that have unlocked such technologies as well as advancements in physical capabilities. Furthermore, modern religion, being a kingdom-based afterlife, would be more like a mutual meeting place for the post-mortem immortal lives. So, the meeting place changes depending on belief. The book I am writing explores these concepts to give specifically a map of how such explorations of our potential future can be enacted and achieved in a global, collectively mutual way. My hope with my work and my writing is to prove that fear of death is a belief-based illusion and that so long as an individual stays true to their faith, death, true death, in the sense of no immortality after mortal life is only an option if the individual so chooses to believe it. There's a train going. On that note, in continuing with the concepts of infinite timelines and, true multi and a true multiverse, this would mean that for such a potential to exist, it does not require all versions of time to end so righteously. In fact, so long as one creates such an outcome, all would thus then have the potential. For in such an outcome, the peoples of such existence could search the infinite times of the cosmos for those true to their belief so as to ensure they get where their belief so wishes to take them. Lastly, history has given us 
and infinite indoctrined undeniable uncontrollable fact that is that segregation leads to conflict and war with all that has been presented here the keys to unlock this is not segregation of faith but a mutual effort of all faiths and if we truly are part of the timeline that leads to such a righteous divine outcome then any momentum of put forth to such an outcome will not just aid to the assurance of your mortal life but anyone's anything's and will open the door to infinite lives with infinite potential for um, aiding in more infinite life so you'd in essence be like an angel of their past ensuring their existence in the future anyway this is to give a map of what could be but de definitely not a demand of what should be just a suggestion of potential to help alleviate the illusion of inevitable cosmic doom the illusion it's just an illusion uh, right. lastly I just wanted to note uh, an I a concept for what a time machine could be so light being constant and faster than sound if sound and light were combined in one medium like a lens for example a water molecule water molecules being one hydrogen and two oxygen potentially on if if a stream of if the two were combined uh, light and sound to create a stream of a live stream of the past I, I believe there's there's truth there then if it was done so to a quantum level the stream then potentially if the hydrogen atom in the water molecule if they were if it was so finite that it was just a sheet a lens of one of water molecules that are side by side each other so that there's there's not just one water molecule uh, or so that there's one water molecule side by side literally not on top of each other but two-dimensionally um, on a molecular scale then uh, and creating a lens like that to stream this uh, combination of vibration and frequency to a quantum level then it could potentially allow a streaming of the past which if achieved then if a streaming of the past could also if if the hydrogen atom could of the water molecule could be shared with a point in the past um, so on one side is a, a share it shares um, molecules it shares two oxygen in the present and then on the other side it shares two oxygen with the past still they share each past and present or future and present shares one hydrogen but two but different sets of oxygen and there was a way of creating a 
a um, a pull on one side and then a push on the other. Push being in the present and pull being in the future or the past, then I believe there is truth to that being the how we achieve portal technology for hydrogen is the literal highest element slightest so and if if this could be achieved then anyway that's a little th theoretical concept and something for progression something to work on I'm just a writer not a physicist but it's an idea and I'm gonna put it in my book so good day stay chill common shape in the universe being a sphere, if, I believe that if we incorporated weight, magnetism, um, and a form of resistance and a form of extraction of electricity from the resistance, I truly believe there's pot potential there. So. For example, combining spherical, um, using understanding, combining multiple understandings of physics, which I do not have the understandings of, but using spheres and understandings of electromagnetism and the different weights of the different elements that there there can be a way to cause resistance if it's in a controlled space so like ball bearing um, uh, for example a heavy element metal element is gold combined with a heavily electrical conducting element like copper and another heavily magnetized uh, or magnetic element like iron. Combining the three, maybe not just those three or a different combination, in a spherical momentum uh, controlled space like a sphere so ball bearing so anyway I, I don't know what I'm talking it's a concept to work from anyway I'm gonna write about it Let's see how she goes something to work from something to provoke the creative theoretical physicists out there that are looking for creative fuel. Perhaps I'm just spouting nonsense to them, but perhaps there's some truth behind it that they can work from. So, that's my hope. Anyway, the more people express their concepts it doesn't they don't have to be f fully formed other people can utilize the little aspects of them to find find some truths out of them combine them with other truths to create a finite um, finished uh, outline of whatever it is that's being proposed. Anyway, I'm closing off here. Peace. Stay chillin'. Oh, and <laughs> the book is Kyrie's Diary, and it will either come out before the end of the year, 
self-published at least to begin with or some point next year. So if you're paying attention, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Eye out. And I've got other books that I'm working on. Like, um, So Can uh, Century, which is South Ontario Century, um, which is just, I know that as writers can have influences on time, like a uh, huge um, author I'm a fan of is Fitzgerald and how he depicted this, the decade that he was experiencing. So if I can depict um, a century of decades to come, hopefully what I want my my home South Ontario to progress um, in the, this century. I will write about and hopefully it will influence the right causes to that effect. Like, um, for example, I, I believe they're in the works of the WNBA um, putting a Toronto team um, so really emphasizing that because uh, like a focus on people um, bringing forth more attention to uh, the female aspects of any industry, let alone the um, athletic industry and help. That's one thing that I would like trying to create more um, mutually uh, mutual true mutual based economic system I losing getting me all over the place now. That's one thing. Another thing is expanding the music industry to a uh, simpler level so that uh, music industry, art industry, writing industry, so that the common person can achieve such goals without having to sift through the system that will just shut them down. So that's what that so can um, century be trying to provoke. And then there's another one where uh, I'm writing. I'm going to write about uh, mythical beasts of the future. Uh, some title like that, where it's basically go going on the concept of how. The future can also be what old cultures and faiths uh, were depicting for in the futures that I've depicted, anything's possible. So any kind of mythical creature of the past can in fact exist. And that's what mythical creatures of the future will be about. It's basically mythical creatures of the past that with future technologies can exist in the future, so emphasizing the uh, infinite potential of the infinite future and that could be so long as we collectively work together, but that regardless is if you believe in the infinite timelines and infinite in the multi. Alright, now I'm closing up. There's, these people, just, there's workers throughout Petticoat Creek that keep on going by. A lot of noise distortion, that's what I've been pausing and starting. Now, peace.